The strange looking oarfish is the longest pony fish in the sea. It is a member of the Regalicidae family of fishes. The origin of the oarfish name is unknown but may refer to the oar shaped body or the long oar like pelvic fins. Because of its long, thin shape, the oarfish fish is sometimes known as the ribbon fish. It is also commonly referred to as the king of herrings. Even though it is a deep water species, it is not too uncommon to see an oarfish. These unusual creatures have been known to wash ashore on beaches after storms, providing endless hours of fascination for curious onlookers. They also have a habit of floating near the surface of the water when they are sick or dying. The oarfish is not usually fished commercially because its gelatinous flesh is not considered edible. The most noticeable feature of the oarfish is its extremely long ribbon-like body. This fish can reach a length of over 50 feet and weigh as much as 600 pounds. Its scaleless body is covered with a silver to silverish blue skin and is topped with an ornate. The red dorsal fin that resembles a decorative headdress. This, this dorsal fin runs the entire length of the fish with a tiny spine projecting above of over 400 individual fin rays. The pelvic fins of this fish are elongated and similarly colored. The oarfish has a small mouth with no visible teeth. Their diet consists mainly of plankton, small crustaceans, and small squid that they strain from the water using specially formed gill rakes in their mouth. In 2001, an oarfish was filmed alive for the first time. It was spotted by a team of U.S. Navy personnel repairing a buoy in the Bahamas. This specimen was observed to be swimming by undulating its long dorsal fin while keeping its body fairly straight. This type of propulsion is known as an ammiform mode of swimming. Orfish have also been observed swimming in a vertical position. It is believed that this may be one way that orfish searches for food. Orfish are usually found at the depth of around 600 feet. Although they have been known to go as deep as 3,000 feet, they have also been observed at depths as shallow as 20 feet. It is possible that they move to shallower waters as they search for food. Though rarely seen in the wild, their numbers are, are thought to be abundant enough that they are currently not considered to be endangered. Orfish is recorded spawning off Mexico from July to December. All species are presumed to not guard their eggs and release brightly colored, buoyant eggs up to 6 mm across, which are incorporated into the zooplankton. The eggs hatch after about 3 weeks into highly active larvae that fed on other zooplankton. The larvae have little resemblance to the adults, with long dorsal and pelvic fins and extensively mouth. Larvae and juveniles have been observed drifting just below the surface. In contrast, adult oarfish are rarely seen at the surface when not sick or injured. The stories about oarfish being an indicator of a coming earthquake comes from Japan. In ancient times, Japanese people called the species as messenger from the Sea God Palace. Days before and after the 6.7 magnitude earthquake that devastated Surigao City and its nearby provinces, multiple sightings of giant oarfish in Mindanao were reported. Two days before the earthquake that killed eight people and injured more than 200, a 10-foot-long oarfish was found ashore in Carmen, Agusan del Norte. Before a 6.3 magnitude earthquake shook Luzon and as recorded by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, a pair of oarfish was found beached somewhere near the protected area of the Pasahimapa Mangrove Park in Southern Lake. Even with that incidents that testify the oarfish ability to predict earthquakes, Scientists claim that as far as seismologists are concerned, further studies are needed to prove that oarfish can really predict earthquakes.